Hi, I'm Laura Sutherland from the Daily Record and I'm here with Kyle. Kyle, Kyle. And Mo. From The View. Boys, you're on your fourth date of your February UK tour. Can you tell me how it's gone so far? Smashing. Excellent, eh? It's a good start to a good tour. <laughs> I see that there was a wee bit of hassle in London. Some of your fans got a wee bit excited. Does that happen quite a lot at your gigs? A lot of the Dundee fans come up? I wasn't aware of that until like, the day, until my mate come up and tell us. But like, we had like, a string section and stuff, eh? so like, I was too busy looking at the, the birds with the cellos in between their legs. Eh? So I don't know how many. The dirty, pretty strings they're called. <laughs> uh -huh. I noticed I was having a wee look at the set list for tonight and you've left covers off, like covers the song that you did with Paolo Nutini. Is there going to be any point in the future that you might team up with Paolo at a gig or a festival or something and perform that song together? Uh, I'd love it. I just think he's a bit busy just now. Like, um, because I, I keep phoning him, but he doesn't answer his phone. He's got like... Because um, I think he's got a flat in London, because eh? like, we were recording like with Owen like, a couple of months back or maybe... Like, and, he was saying, like, come up, because he did bought a big brand new TV, and he was like, Pierre, oh, come up and play some, some, uh, some FIFA, eh? And I was like, I was talking about a phone, but I didn't, it's because I didn't answer the unheld un un numbers. But I didn't answer them either, eh? You freak out, Pierre, oh, it might be some mental dem fan, Jalender, man, so you didn't answer it. But, like, he's, but I've not spoke to him in ages, eh? So, so you missing each other. Uh, it'd be good to, like, it'd be good to get him on the go, eh? Right, it was obviously which bitch is at number four in the album charts and I noticed that Lily Allen bought three of your albums, she was pictured with three of your albums. We like her a lot man. I was going to ask a bit about that, you know her album's coming out this week, have you guys reciprocated and gone out and bought a Lily album? We will, we will. Buy one? I will. Glad you reminded us. Give one to my girlfriend for Valentine's Day. Oh, is that what you're uh, see. That's quite a good present. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, and I was just going to ask if you've met Lily and where you met her and, you know. But, yeah. Well, there, but there was a bit, there was a bit of like, sort of, there was some sort of feud because, like, awesome, yeah. there, was, there was loads of stuff. But, like, in Australia, we were getting uh, this interview and uh, I can't remember what it was, but, like, Jimmy, our mate, on, we're done, we're, we're video for Skag Trendy. Mentioned her, but it wasn't like slagging her. It was, she, it was just something to do with her, her song was playing. My mate was listening to her song on her right on his iPod, and he started singing the song. Uh, and so it wasn't slagging her. But she, I think she thought we were slagging her. Uh, yeah. She just took it because we're Scottish and that, and people just pick up on the keywords, kind of like so they must have da da da, and then da da da. So he walked past in Spain. She walked past and said, "Oh, you're the View. You're that band that doesn't like me, aren't you?" We were like, "Nah, man. We, we fucking like you, man." And then the next one, she just sat down, had a few drinks. We yeah, spent all night. We smashed pure writing tunes together. Writing tunes, yeah, but cool. then but we went to uh, other band build and we were in this festival. It was like the only way out was a bus. So she's going, come on, you can stay with me and we'll, we'll, we'll leave on, we're leaving a helicopter and on. And I was like, pure our sound, man. And my two man just going, no, no, Lily, he can't come with you, Lily. No, I was pure, oh, f good, man. I'm not happy to stay here when I'm getting offered to go on a chopper, man, can I mean? And he's been, I need to come back. So I take it you didn't get a chopper, did you just get a bus and Lily got a chopper? Uh, uh, pretty much, uh, that's the way it went. And where about was this? Um, summer case in Spain, some place. Cool. Do you run it? Do you run into a lot of British stars and hang out with them when you're at these gigs? Yeah, man. Just it's what happens, is it? You just because it's self appreciate it's pure, uh, it's just pure like mutual appreciation, even. And yeah, I just go pure. But yeah, Rene. Rene. I notice uh, Mark Ronson is also a fan, and I know you always work with. O well, for your last two albums, you've always worked with Owen Morris. Would you ever think about doing something with Mark Ronson? Well, I went to his. Uh, uh, he's like a good pal of mine. Now we're going for the drinks now and again. And there was. Um, he's here tonight. There was. Uh, is he? Owen. <laughs> Owen's here tonight. Eh? Mark Ronson told us. No, he's. he's uh, nah, he's. No, nah, I went to his. I went to his birthday party, and he was on. But he was just saying about like he liked. He, he would have liked to have done some of the tunes that we've got, but. Was like, that his birthday thing recently? That was I can't remember, it was like last, it was like uh, five months ago. It's good man, he got on a big massive bus. I like every band you can think of on this big massive bus, like the Kaiser Chiefs, pure. Uh, everyone, pretty much every band you think of, Mr. Jets and that. Like, you go in and I was like dressed as Stone Roses, pence splattered over us. You go in and you get your picture, it was just like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, like, it was like pure, a millionaire's birthday party. Now these bands, free drink, pure mental man. Like, it's like big, there was a room like Emerald City, but it was jelly, and I was I filled up with vodka. You just go and ah, jump about the jelly, and it's great. Oh yeah, obviously Paolo was once someone that you collaborated with this year. Is there anyone else that you really like as a group? Because I know you do a lot of stuff by yourself with different people. You've done John McClure and things like Andrew McConnell. Is there anyone else you fancy collaborating with as a group? Noel G, Paul McCartney, would not mind? I know you. I knew that you nearly asked Paul McCartney recently, but you bottled out. 
Yeah, man, it's just, it's just probably can't so I don't know. Okay. Final question, meditation, have you kept it up? Nah, it was just a couple of nights, running out because it was like, my mate Marco, the Don, it's like, um, he's living with me and Ryan McPhail, the guy does work, but we've got a flat together in London, and he's completely convinced, and, and Mc, Ryan McPhail's like, Pierre, no, you've got to see this, and I was kind of a doubter. He's going like, and, and it was like the aura's in her, he was going, you can't have no bull****, okay, he says, I can't, Marco's a bit mental, but you need to go for it, so we're all sitting in the room, and we've been doing it, and like, still not really happened for me, aye, but it's like, we're just trying to connect with each other, and it's no, but you don't even feel the need to blink or nothing, it's just like, whew, other candles, I just put on magic, eh? He's doing this party trick for you. This <laughs> 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 is me meditating. <coughs> is, this, is this your meditation? This is me meditating. Oh, you can still speak with this, you know. Yeah, hey, man. Okay. <laughs> Look out for you. Brilliant. Thanks very much, guys. Good luck for tonight. Yeah, thank you.